morning. I'm in Manchester near the Trafford Centre at the uh, Manchester Classic Car Show. So it'd be good to see what we've got. We can have a look round. First off, we're on the uh, the Peugeot GTI. Here we got a nice 1.9 GTI. I had two of these. Look at this, all in that trim. Now I'm just taking a picture of this Citroen Maserati. I remember my father came home with we one of these one day. He was a dealer, Citroen dealer, my father. And much to my surprise, he came over with one of these Citroen Maseratis. The Maserati engine in it, turning headlights, hydro pneumatic suspension, hence so that's why it's so low. Thing rises off the ground when you turn the uh, ignition on. Quite a unique back to it. Number plate in a really awkward position. Anyway, see what else we've got. So this is the sort of the carpeted part of the the show. Um, so I'll go and have a look at some of the other things. Let's have a look round here. What we've got round here? The Riley RM Club. Stored. A selection of individual cars from a relatively modern focus. Escort. An MG. Something a little bit older, which is a pilot. Pilot V8. More Fords. Very nice, fully restored Escort here in orange. Show winner. Ubiquitous Ford Cortina. With the obligatory gauges at the top of the dashboard, look. My friend had one of these, Peter had one of these. Used to go like shit, these did. Or they seem to do it in that day and age. Maybe not so fast these days. Let's have a wander over here. We're uh, certainly in Ford land at the moment. So as we pan near the entrance, we uh, have a look at the GT40s. Aren't these beautiful, eh? Look at this one in golf colours. So we'll have a good look at this one. Look at this one, beautiful. I assume it's a real one. Genuine one. Look at that engine, beautiful. One in grey. Downdraft carbs on the top. Yeah, this looks. This one's genuine. I can tell. 
and I think Let's have a walk down Cosworth Alley. All, right, All immaculately restored, as you can see in the mirrors. Looks like it's a uh, touring car version. Well, that's the Cosworth bit. Viva, unmolested mops of Viva, with a with a red lead roof. Right, let's try and find some else. There we go. What's this? A Lagonda, is that? No, it's a Bentley. A couple of Bentleys, classic Bentleys here. This is a Rolls Royce, as you can see by the radiator. Anyway, some more Fords here, some Escorts, Ford Escort, and then a console. Dags, Spitfires and things. Oh well, well, let's have a look at this bat. Let's have a look at this, the Batmobile. I don't know whether it's a real one or not. And it's a replica by the look of it. Very good replica at that. Including parachutes at the back as well. walk down their main bit now and have a look at some of the Americana here look Thunderbird convertible vet another vet Humber British, I think. That's a Humber. A couple of uh, 
Are you coming to work in that? Oh, it's the sailors, really. I know. <laughs> Nice paint, look at the paint, look at the metallic paint there. Beautiful. Little flecks of purple in the paint there. Finishing off with a uh, caddy. So let's go around here. We'll pass this Metro 6R4. You see, it looks like it's a real Metro 6R4. Opal GT. He's an, that's a nice example of. Now we're at the TVR stand now. There's uh, John Reed's Tuscan racer. My friend Kevin's Griff looking very good. Tuscan. We look at now. Let's go over here. Let's keep looking at the cars anyway. So what's this then? 92 from 1952 Rochdale Mark II. John Warby's uh, dad's. That's it, there's his, uh, his dad's Morris Minor. Still looking good after all this time, John, if you're online. Land crab, Worsley, or rather the flying bedstead, I think. They're not my cup of tea, but obviously somebody likes them. That's the beauty about. Our car habit, there's always something that appeals to different people. So those of you that are watching from the USA and into your Jaguars, we're on the XGS part now. And here's one she's done with a like a, a shooting break or an estate. 
see if we can find out a bit about it from the writer. So it was made by a company called Lynx, based in Hastings, who did the conversion. And of course, we've got the ubiquitous V12 Jag engine in there. You see all the plumbing. Grief. Like to work out what goes where in there. Uh, Frank in Georgia that we met at the Dixie Cruisers we've got a, an XJS in the US there in Georgia I think. in A40s. Oh, that's a 1952 Austin A40. You think what the Americans were putting out in 1952? Well, I'll let you judge for yourself. But. Stagland, which is over the road here. Nice stag owners, and then finally, as we walk past the uh, Prime Stags, we go to the Jensen Interceptors. So let's have a look here and see what these were a uh, 7.5 litre. American engine car. Well, this one's got a Lagonda engine in it, or a Lagonda cam covers anyway. Double overhead cam. Very nice. This is, I bet this is pretty rare. This one, lovely paint work. Yes, it's a show winner. That one, P100 shoot and brake look. I would imagine that's quite a rare car. So what we'll do is we'll run over to the uh, American Auto Club Northwest, see what they've got on display there. Burton Valves Impala. Nice Chevy truck here, look, 